Hey, hello. Hey, hey. Hello there. Can you hear us? <laughs> yes, you're audible. You. Yeah. Thanks. So, <clears throat> uh, well, I'll I'll introduce the presentation, and then Noah is going to take over the <clears throat> the, the slides. Um, we are uh, Pepe and Noé. We are from both from Mexico. Right now, uh, Noé is in Spain. I'm in, in Mexico, and we are going to present uh, Glassbox, which is basically a protocol to help us uh, follow the <clears throat> the changes of uh, of references of, of media content and to notify the Wikipedians about them. Uh, this tool is especially designed for certain uh, scenarios. For example, when we are covering breaking news, sometimes um, the sources that we are using, they change for different reasons. And uh, we want to empower the Wikipedians to uh, understand how these uh, changes may affect the content of the article. So uh, the next one, please. So we were inspired by the um, um, typology of edits that Wikipedia currently has. has. Uh, for example, um, uh, we as Wikimedians, we know when uh, we have a minor edit, when an edit was performed by a bot, by a bot, et cetera. By a bot, et cetera. Um, next one. Uh, this project generates in uh, um, a, a former project that we had when we monitored five of, of the largest um, newspapers in Mexico, and we detected something that we called stealth edits. Those are edits in the content that um, audiences are unaware of them. For example, uh, changes on the title, um, changes on the content. Uh, I think the next image will be more eloquent than me, um, please. Yeah. So right now we are see we're looking at uh, the diff, the diffs of um, um, of uh, content about the governor of Mexico City, and as you can see, uh, all the all the the words highlight in green uh, those were additions to the content while the, the, high, the red, red highlights show and the strikeout show all the things that were deleted. And um, this was basically uh, re-redacted. This, this, this uh, content was rewritten. And this is something that's uh, systematic within uh, sources in Mexico and we presume uh, sources in Latin America. We have very, uh, very bad editorial guidelines about this. There's no uh, disclaimers or something like that for people reading this content. So we wanted to uh, help Wikimedians that are using this as sources to uh, to be not noticed when when those, those changes happen. Next one. Ah, no, this is this is your your part. I think I, I'll take over here. So, well, what we were using is if that you have already seen uh, before. Well, uh, the approach that we took is that, well, we, we used to go and visit the, those regular news sites and also uh, some others that could be blogs or any other sources. And we were looking over there what was changing into the actual contents of, of the news, right? So, uh, we tried this and we saw that actually a lot of uh, uh, a lot of the, the sources actually change. Uh, every day we, we check about, uh, I don't know, between uh, 10,000 articles and yes, some of them they significantly changed. So we thought that this could be uh, you are actually using websites uh, for recycling uh, something into articles. So we found that we could actually use it for discussion, right? So uh, you, you, you need to actually know that this is changing, but there's no way to, to know that it has changed with its creation. So well, what, we, what we, we were doing is that we were doing these discussions uh, on using, using news. 
So this is like the new Zips architecture that you can actually you can actually use for 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 your own purpose to to check those those sources. But uh, we have done before a research phase, like to see how this is uh, useful. And actually, Pepe was doing uh, uh, some interviews. Pepe, can you, can you tell us more about yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, well, in, in this phase, we did, um, well, right now there are more than, than that. There are now 11 uh, interviews with people with different profiles, digital journalists, uh, people who works at newsrooms on uh, digital media entrepreneurs. Uh, we uh, interviewed um, the small digital news website owners, a digital security expert, um, a person, uh, a professor uh, specialized in crowdsourcing and computer sciences and some um, Wikimedia admins in the S.Wik, in the Wikipedia, Wikipedia in Spanish. We, we spoke with them in order to have our design heuristics. Next one, please. And we, we obtained uh, some uh, valuable information. The first one is that all journalists told us that the majority of the changes occur within the first 12 to, th to 36 hours. We decided that Glassbox should prioritize detection of changes in the first 72 hours in order to um, have uh, a broader term of uh, research, um, sorry, uh, of monitoring. Next, um, editors should notify the readers about the stealth additions if the meaning of the content is substantially changed. Uh, we think that this is we think that this is a really good practice. Sometimes uh, newspapers change um, a declaration or, or a quote of of some of the person that had had been interviewed in the content, or sometimes they add data or they remove data, and I, we think that. Um, readers should know about that. That's the second principle. The third is that editors, uh, this is something that the, the journalist told us, should have the chance to categorize their changes. Uh, we are proposing a small typology classification of changes, such as minor edit, uh, information update, and rectification. There are other um, use cases, but those respond more for media manipulation and we 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 think that that they they won't be well that the journalists or, or people at the newsrooms won't be very eager to declare those changes but the, this this other three respond actually to uh newsrooms dynamics that are actually occurring right now and the next one please uh, you, we also detected that media regenerates the URL through redirecting uh, in order to uh, hide all these changes and Glassbox should be prepared to keep the record of these uh, changes too. And the last one is uh, basically that Glassbox needs to be a tool for empowering the decision-making process within the Wikimedia community. We are not trying to, to do this uh, to do everything in automatic. We want the um, uh, Wikimedia editors to be aware when a source is uh, had a change, but it's ultimately the last word of the wiki of the wiki editor to determine if uh, he or she is going to change the content of the Wikipedia article or not. Well, I'll take over again over here. So the, what we want to do is that Glassbox, it, it is a model that is compatible with the web. So Glassbox, uh, we, we, we think it should be decentralized. It should be open. It should be also machine readable and it should promote transparency from the source. So that's why we, we wanted to, to, to change uh, this approach that, we, that it, it, it happened while we, we were using NewsDiffs. So we thought that, well, if, if, the, if the community can go like onto the news websites and actually see what is happening, that's why we call it Glassbox because we want it to be transparent. We want it to be uh, like self-declaratory and that people can actually see what's changing over there, right? So uh, this could be like an approach that could be like the, the first step. And that's why we, we thought that we could do a, a WordPress plugin that we're actually developing. And, but what if we could do? We could go one step further 
like if we put Glassbox with a glass bot, uh, that that could be actually like a, like a help for Wikipedia to know about like when when the the source changes and actually uh, know that you have to go and rectify the, the information that it it, it it is the same because the source may not be uh, uh, the same uh, in in this moment, right? So we, we thought that probably Glassbot could could traverse Wikipedia links, then go and fetch into these uh, Glassbox uh, instances and report to Wikipedia. So actually the community can actually uh, will uh, check those reports and actually discuss about them, right? So right now what we have thought is that we could do in WordPress two different endpoints. One is uh, glassbox.xml. So you go to, to the website and you should see the 72 hours divs that we were seeing uh, in the in the in the in the heuristics and the another one is that you you should go you should be able to go to a permalink and then go to slash glassbox.xml and you should see the history per post or, or page so how would that that actually look like so well we we thought that xml could be a machine readable because uh, a lot of uh, components in the web uh, know how to read xml uh, so you should see, for example, well, this is reported by Glassbox, and this is the, the actual uh, website where you're actually seeing, and you, it is page. And each of these entries are actually the changes that have been happening in the last 72 hours. And if you go to uh, a link of uh, what actually could be uh, 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 an article, so you should be able to see actually when was that created, when was that updated, who was the author and actually see over there the changes and actually and actually see them. Uh, we, we are doing a WordPress research. Uh, we, we, we have uh, mostly like finished this spike. And what we have seen is that, uh, well, in, in the WordPress community, they actually helped me in the IRC and Stern data user, he was very kind and actually pointed me out of other things. Like actually what we have over there is that uh, well, editors and post and page revisions, they already have this, this kind of approach of the, diffs, the, the difference between uh, the editions. So uh, these are only visible for the admin and then the author and they're queryable. And you can see them on HTML. And well, the Glassbot, we have been doing another research uh, with the Wikimedia uh, in Chile community. And Dennis Tovar help, help us out. Uh, we, we would like to traverse the links in Wikipedia fetch the Glassbox history that we, we, we showed you in the XML and know how to read the Glassbox XML. It is very similar to uh, other bots that probably you have seen the Internet Archive or also there is a PyWiki bot that you can actually use for uh, those kind of uh, tasks. But we are, we're discussing uh, about like how we can actually uh, make a report of this. Uh, so probably we, we, we can do something like site credibility. So Pepe. Do you want yeah, to tell us about the notification? Yeah, yeah this is this is the, the final step. Um, we want the, the glass bot to have uh, to use an, uh, a user uh, like the Internet Archive ICAP bot to notify on the talk page to the editors that some changes had happened. Uh, one, one of the of the coolest things is that uh, this bot will translate all of these attributes that are in the XML into something readable and something understandable for uh, practically any editor. Um, we are thinking like for like for a copy like this one. Um, hello, fellow Wikipedians. I have just detected that and references on article had changed in the last 36 hours or 72 hours. Please take a moment to review the divs, the content of www.urlexample.com slash article1234 was modified attribute on date. Um, when we are declaring this attribute, attribute is because um, um, we want the bot to use this typology of edits and it could declare that it was a minor edit declared by the newsroom or it was a content update or it was a rectification on the date that uh, the bot is retrieving this information. Cheers, Glassbot, and the date where the publication is being made. So um, we, under we understand that the dynamics of the <clears throat> Wikipedias are different um, among all languages. We know that since 2018, for example, in the talk pages, they are not appearing anymore, these notifications from the Internet Archive, bo archive Bot, but um, while we understand this in the Spanish uh, Wikipedia, when 
where we uh, did this research phase. Um, we think that, that, that it could tackle a, a really a huge problem about all these stealth edits and it would be still very necessary. And we are also going to prior, prioritize or prioritize that um, Glassbot uh, should not notify um, further than those uh, 72 hours in order to avoid spamming the, the talk discussion. As, as you heard, we want to um, help uh, people, to help editors to have a broader discussion about the difference and about the credibility of sources. And we want to, to, to help us build um, upon this criteria. Uh, ultimately, editors should decide if the information provided by the tool is useful or not. And that uh, hopefully would help us to refine uh, the reach and the goals of Glassbox. And that bill, thank you, thank you very much.